I like to start making videos like this at least several times a week, like two or three minutes, like hit it and go. Because that's how people's minds work today anyway. They, <laughs> they don't like sitting through, you know, 20 minutes of information. Um, ISO in uh, digital photography. ISO is not connected to exposure. Most importantly, I assume you knew that. ISO invariance, you should Google ISO invariance. But the important thing is that every time you raise your ISO, especially since a lot of people do it unnecessarily, every time you do that, you're choking your images of saturation, micro contrast, and shadow detail. Now I know you've heard ETTR, which means exposed to the right, which means saturate your sensor as far as you can go. There ought to be another one called ETTB, which should be uh, exposed to the bottom. In other words, as low as your ISO can go. ISO is applied gain. A lot of people think that ISO is somehow connected to exposure or occurs at the sensor at the time of exposure, but that's absolutely not true. ISO is applied gain. Professional radios have a knob on it, on them, called gain. Ham radio operator. I've got some ham radio antennas behind me. On professional radios, there's a knob called gain. Gain is not volume, it's input gain. Amplification of the signal that is captured. Captured is a past tense word. There's capture, capturing, captured. Okay, so the captured past tense image has applied gain. That is what ISO is. ISO is not part of the exposure triangle. The true exposure triangle of digital photography is aperture, shutter speed, and what's the other one? SNR, signal to noise ratio. Every time you raise the ISO, you're choking your images of saturation, micro contrast, and shadow detail. Always, if you're doing, uh, going off the camera's meter, like say you're taking like the shot behind me where matrix metering is perfectly fine. If you don't necessarily have your ISO cranked up, you're just choking off the image of saturation, micro contrast, and shadow detail. Period. It means that the SNR becomes worse. The only thing that ISO exists for is to let you manipulate gain and time in digital photography. Gain being your aperture and time, of course, being your shutter speed. So, remember that one. Yeah? ISO is not part of the exposure triangle, and unnecessarily raising your ISO, all it does is degrade your image. You can't get back shadow detail that's lost. You can't recover what was never captured to begin with. There's a lot of neat stuff you can do in Lightroom and Photoshop, but you can't make crap appear that was never captured in the RAW to begin with, much less the JPEG, for Christ's sakes. Let's assume you're not a JPEG shooter. Not that there's anything wrong with that. Goddamn bird, shut up. <laughs> <laughs> Damn birds. Thanks. Bye.